Hello, we are in day 16 of this mule advanced training. So today the topic is how to achieve CICD using mule and Jenkins. But before we go to CICD, let us try to understand about mule maven plugin and how we can use this mule maven plugin to do deployments on premise or on cloud hub. So we need to understand some basics of maven here. Actually, whenever we are executing any Maven command, we do something like this MVN space, something like install or MVN space deploy, MVN space package. We execute commands like this. So actually, what are this? You need to understand that in Maven, whenever you execute any command, there are uh, life cycles associated with Maven. So let us try to understand about life cycles. What are the various life cycles? Each life cycle actually contains multiple phases. And each phase may contain. Uh, might be bound to multiple goals. What are phases? What are goals? What are life cycles? Let us try to understand. So here I'm in the Maven documentation. What is it saying? Uh, Maven is based around a central concept of a build life cycle. There are actually three default three life cycles in Maven. The one is default, another is clean, and another is site. Mostly we use a life cycle called as default. So under one life cycle, you can see, for example, under default life cycle. It comprises of following phases. Here it says each of these build life cycles is defined by a different list of build phases. One life cycle will have multiple phases. For example, in default life cycle, these are the various phases. OK. And uh, you can see the names install, verify, etc. And the order is important. Actually, whenever we execute uh, MVN install, we are executing a phase called as install phase. We want a phase to be executed. Whenever we install, the, all the previous phases will be automatically executed. So if I execute MVN space test, first validate phase, then compile phase, then test phase will be executed. So suppose if I say MVN deploy, what will happen? All the previous phases will be executed and then finally deploy phase. The order of phases matter. And in each phase, there will be multiple goals. And there will be multiple goals associated with. Each goal is actually defined inside something called as plugins. Mule is ex sorry, Maven is extensible. We can define our own Maven plugin as well. And attach this uh, goals inside this plugin with phases. So if you see, for example, um, here it is saying a build phase is made up of plugin goals. One phase can contain multiple goals defined inside plugins. Goals are actually defined inside plugins. We'll understand about this plugins. So one a build phase is actually made of multiple plugin goals. OK. So for example, um, you can see this is a phase. It is bound to this goal. This is a phase. This is a goal. So every phase will ha can have multiple goals. OK, and these goals are actually coming from plugins. So Maven actually works based on plugins. Is Maven a tool specific to Mule? No, right? Maven does not know anything specific to Mule. So what MuleSoft has done is MuleSoft has created their own plugin. If you see the pom.xml under build, you can see there is a plugin called as Mule Maven plugin. So MuleSoft knows how to package the application. What is the directory structure of a Mule application, right? 
So whenever we want to package any Mule application, this is a plugin which can be used. By default, whenever we create a project, this Mule Maven plugin is automatically present. Right. So this is a plugin which is associated with uh, deploy goal. Whenever we say MVN deploy, this plugin will be internally used. OK, so we can actually configure this Mule Maven plugin to deploy the application to either Cloud Hub or to on-premise or to runtime fabric or wherever. How is it possible? So I'll just go to Google and search for um, Mule Maven plugin deploy to Cloud Hub. So it will take us to the documentation. If the documentation will clearly tell how to configure this Mule Maven plugin to deploy it to Cloud Hub. So this plugin will contain some goals. Of course, each plugin is a jar. They have written this plugin. This plugin has to be configured, can be configured so that it can deploy to Cloud Hub or standalone or anywhere. Now I'm going to show you in the documentation how to configure this Mule Maven plugin to deploy to Cloud Hub and also for on-premise or wherever. So let us go to the documentation of Mule Maven plugin. Actually, I'll just search for Mule Maven plugin. Here is a page for Mule Maven plugin. Let me go there first. Here is the documentation of Mule Maven plugin. Here there are multiple links how to configure Mule Maven plugin to deploy to Cloud Up 1.0, Cloud Up 2.0, Runtime Fabric, etc. Now I'll show you how to deploy your applications to Cloud Hub. Okay. Now here the documentation clearly says this is how you need to configure the plugin tag. You will Maven plugin tag. I just copy paste this configuration under configuration cloud of deployment tag, and I will try to explain you step by step. So there is already Mule Maven plugin, and there is configuration tag. Under this, I will configure this cloud hub deployment tag. Hmm. So this is the URL of your AnyPoint platform. This we don't need to change. And what is the Mule version which we, which we want to use? Actually, is there app dot runtime already? Yes. So let it be the default one dollar app dot runtime. It refers to the app dot runtime, which is here. OK. Then what is the username and password? So I, there are two things. There are two ways uh, which we can configure this cloud of deployment. I can either use username and password or we can use something called as connected app. We'll discuss about what is that connected app next. So first of all, I'll hard code my username and password. Either I can hard code or I can configure it as a property. Or I can pass it at runtime also whenever um, I'm executing Maven command. So let me see actually I will right now configure username property here. Mm. Uh, ch dot. Username. I will write my username 0. 2 Siva 6. And I will write ch dot password. Later we can externalize it. Right now I'm hard coding. This is my password. Not good to hard code the password, but we'll see. So ch dot username I'll configure here. And ch dot password. OK, and what is the application name? OK, I'll configure this cloud up dot application dot name uh, here in the properties. Um, oh, wow. Cloud up dot application dot name. I want it to be uh, same as my 
artifact ID. Uh, or I can actually give I can actually give project dot artifact ID, but this artifact ID has to be unique. Like right now, what I can do is I can just write restaurant as it has to be unique. I'll give dash today's date 08032024. Okay, this hopefully this name should be unique. Um, so that is used. And what is the environment? Um, again, I will write um, environment sandbox. I want to deploy to sandbox. How do I know the name actually? If you go to the documentation, what all values can come here for sand for this? Um, environment here it is saying the cloud of environment to which you want to define so this is the name sandbox if you want to deploy to sandbox environment actually um, what i can do is i can have multiple environments you can see that there are only sandbox and design right now i will show you how to create multiple environments i'll go to access management and business groups this is my business group or organization here under environments, I can con I can create my own environment. I can say prod for production and the type is production create. So like that, I can create multiple environments. I'll create dev environment as well. So I can create uh, multiple environments. Fine. Now I want to deploy to sandbox. Let it be sandbox only right now. This if I click on sandbox. Actually, every environment will have a client ID and secret. We'll discuss about this next. OK, so right now I want to go to uh, deploy to sandbox right now. Mm, so I configured the environment as sandbox um, region. Uh, let me go to uh, here. What all are the valid regions? Let us see. Yes, US East one is a default region. Let me hard code it. And the number of workers I want to deploy to is one and worker type. What are all the different worker types according to documentation? Micro means 0 0.1 week course. I want to use worker type as micro. I will hard code fine. And while deploying, if you want to pass any properties you can pass the properties here what are the properties actually if you go to deployment uh, whenever you are deploying in runtime manager i will show you okay whenever you are deploying suppose if you want to pass any properties during deployment how do you pass let us see yeah here under properties tab you can pass key value pairs right when you're deploying manually through browser, but same properties. If I want to pass through Maven, I can pass a key value pairs here. I'll give key one. Value one. Like that, I can give multiple things. I'll give. Key two. Value two like that. I can give multiple properties. We'll discuss more on properties next. So that's all I have configured this Cloud Hub deployment. Whenever I do, I execute a uh, Mule deploy, Maven deploy. It will use this configuration. The Mule Maven plugin will use this configuration to push or deploy our application to Cloud Hub. Let us see what we can do is I'll go to this folder where I have this project. So you'll have to go into the project. Here is a form. Then I'll open the command prompt. MVN space clean and then deploy hyphen D mule deploy. So this will build package and then deploy to Cloud Hub. Let us just wait for a few seconds and observe. Yes, now you can see packaging is done. The it is installed to local repository also. You can see that installing this jar to my local repository. And now the mule Maven plugin is executing the deploy goal. Here you can see the command deploying the artifact. 
is the application name which I gave. So the Mule Maven plugin will actually use the APIs provided by any point platform and it will push the application. See, it is actually creating. Now, parallelly, let me go to uh, Runtime Manager applications. I should see the application here. Okay, the application name is Restaurant 0803. It is still creating. Let us wait for a few more seconds. I'll refresh here. Yes, now you can see the application. It is actually getting deployed. I can see the logs. It will take some time for deploying, but we understood the concept how Mule Maven plugin actually can be used, can be configured to deploy to Cloud Up. That's all. We just have to configure this. And let us see this key one, key two. Are they available here um, in Runtime Manager? I clicked on that. I will click on this application and click on manage application. Here under properties, do you see key one value one, key two value two? Yes. So whatever properties I want to pass during deployment, I can pass the values here like this. OK. Now you understood how to do cloud up deployment, right? Now. Let us see. Let us assume that I want to deploy to um, standalone runtime. How to deploy to standalone runtime? You can see this is the Mule Maven plugin documentation. Um, here, if you want to deploy to standalone runtime, here is the documentation. Let me just open this. Here is the configuration. I just need to configure Mule Maven plugin, standalone deployment tag. And I just have to tell what is a mule home directory and the mule version. That's all. If you just configure this tag inside mule maven plugin, the deployment will be done to standalone runtime. <clears throat> wherever you are executing this maven command, you need just give the path. Okay. But one thing, one trick here is if this has to be successful, remember this. Maybe in interviews they may ask if this has to be successful on your machine, on your local machine, Mule runtime has to be running a service. If you are just executing Mule.bat, if it is not installed as a service inside your operating system, the standalone deployment will fail. Actually, this has wasted my lot of time. I started Mule runtime by executing Mule.bat. And I was using it. I was using this configuration to deploy. The deployment fails, saying that there is no Mule runtime. So after a lot of uh, time waste and referencing to documentation, referencing to help uh, support on MuleSoft documentation, I understood that if this has to be successful, your Mule runtime must be installed as a service in the operating system then only this will be successful all right so like that actually um, there are other deployment configurations also like if you want to deploy to cloud up 2.0 if you want to deploy to runtime fabric all are here so we just have to refer to this documentation to understand how to configure this mule maven plugin for deployments 